Hey guys, this is Leon the Nomad Detailer and I've got a special video today, something a little different, but go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button and uh, we're going to do a review of a Van Lee Beacon when I was down in Explorer USA uh, down in Texas recently and I was so impressed with the improvements they've made in such a short time that I wanted to make a quick review picture or video let's see so the color full body paint it's got a nice clear coat on it I don't really feel a transition between the lines which was really nice they've got the frameless windows not a fan about the Schwinn tag but it is on a very small slide and we're gonna go ahead and go inside here now it's got your regular RV furniture but this is a rear kitchen it's got nice solid state um, countertops there the drawers are seem well made uh, nice heavy-duty doors and it's got a lot of little neat features like the electrical plug there with some USB outlets as well that you can hide and then it's got a whirlpool fridge I'm not a big fan of the freezer in the bottom but now one of the changes in the RV market is this Insignia stove and I actually have one and I love this stove. It actually gives you enough BTUs to actually cook. So um, just showing you some more of the storage space here. Another solid countertop there. It's probably Corian if I had to guess. And got soft clothes. Alright, it's got a little bar there for two seats and then your kitchen sink is actually sitting in the island and I'm not so sure about that but uh, we'll see. I'm just worried about water um, overflowing the countertop there and going down on the floor but let's go downstairs and check this out. Now down here you've got your LG TV, on, TV a Furion Entertainment Center which I'm not a fan of it being exposed and you've got your 40 inch uh, fireplace there. You've got glass inserts in the counter, you've got a pretty nice little ceiling decor piece with light and ventilation. It's got a ceiling fan that's probably going to need replacing with something that actually moves some air around um, but those are available now. You've got some solid wood valances here that seems to be pretty well secured to the wall and like some that I've found. And then you've got your day night shades. These are not MCD. I'm not sure what the brand is, but uh, they're act and look like MCD shades. All right, let's go upstairs and check out the bathroom. Well, before they do that, let's look at this. This is, um, I guess, more storage place. Um, you can put towels and stuff like that in here and uh, because you don't have a whole lot of storage here in the bathroom. Pocket doors. You've got a drop tank in there, no electric toilet. And I'm not a fan of the double vanity. It just takes up so much room um, your push buck lighting again little tiny little medicine cabinet area and the shower has those three tracks uh, that the glass slides in which is very very difficult to keep clean and keep stuff out of there um, so I know personally on my unit I took this sh uh, shower door enclosure out and replaced that with a solid track at the bottom and it does have a fold up seat in here and your skylight for people like me that are 6'4". So um, I just, you know, wanted to show you guys uh, that they are making some improvements after, I guess it feels like the last few years everything has just gone downhill. But uh, um, looking at the industry every single year and what new, what's new coming out, I really feel like they've had a good... Um, upgrade and it's looking more and more luxury uh, with this unit now the problem really is, is still with the axles I still see a lot of reports of uh, Lippert broken axles on these units um, so I think if they can figure out how to get more right IS it'll be much better but um, 
but anyway so this is the bedroom you've got the padding I don't really care for that but uh, but that's it guys that is the Van Lee beacon for 2022 and uh, like I said they've come a long way um, from I guess about three four years ago when I started uh, looked at my first one and started following them a little bit so all right guys well this is uh, Leon the Nomad Detailer and uh, signing out with a review for once so you guys take care hit that subscribe button and more videos are coming your way soon you guys take care